experiencing chronic or subacute pain, then there's a small device called the TENS unit, which can help you get through that pain. TENS stands for transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. Transcutaneous means through the skin, and it does just that. It sends small electrical currents through your skin where it gets picked up by the nerves and somehow modulates the sensation of pain. Now, it doesn't cure pain, it just helps reduce the perception of pain. Usually, I recommend conservative methods to dealing with chronic or subacute pain, which would include ice and heat, massage therapy, gentle stretches, and this kind of thing. I usually advise patients to avoid taking the strong drugs because oftentimes that results in actually worse things for your body than the pain itself. But if you absolutely have to knock that pain down sooner than later, using the TENS unit is a viable option. And this is the TENS unit right here. Notice how small, how compact it is, which facilitates carrying it. Uh, most people clip it onto their belt, under their clothes, out of sight, which enables you to get therapy without people around you even noticing. And it comes with a D-cell battery. Now these electrodes are become in a nice airtight case. They have a sticky material that adheres to your skin, but since the skin is quite oily, after a few applications of putting it on and taking it off, you lose your stickiness and you'll have to get replacement pads. So that's what they look like. Now these are the cables for the electrodes. You could use four electrodes around an area, or you could use two for one area and two for another area. For example, you could put two in your low back, and if you have also right shoulder pain, you could put the other two on the right shoulder. It's very important to not turn on the TENS unit until everything is all set, because if the power is on and you touch these electrodes with your fingers, you will get a shock. So wait until uh, these electrodes are applied, and then at that point you could turn it on. You'll notice I attach the leads, the left channel and the right channel, into the TENS unit. And to each one, we'll attach one electrode. Okay, so we're almost ready to go. This is the display, the LED display that will show you the amplitude and frequency of the electrical current that you're using. And this little area here allows you to change the intensity of the frequency and the amplitude of the electrical signal. The TENS unit also comes with pre-selected therapy modes, and you could select between them pressing this button. What I have here is a spinal model with muscle attachments. Now, with this TENS unit, it's actually not an exact science. You're going to have to experiment with the placement and the pulse width and pulse frequency settings to see you know, which combination gives you the best results. That's the beauty of the device is that uh, you could do this testing um, and get the treatment at the same time without any adverse outcome. You know, feel free to experiment with the settings because there's, there's no way really to mess it up by having the wrong setting. There really is no wrong setting. If you have lower back pain and it feels like a muscle is spasming, let's say on the right side, then you could try this particular approach. Put one electrode on one end of the muscle and then the other one on the top of the muscle. Go ahead and turn it on here. Most TENS units, this one included, come with pre-installed modes, modes of operation. This one has burst mode, normal, modulation, SD1, and SD2. If you want to make changes to the settings, you press set, and the number that blinks, you can make it higher or lower. This is the pulse width. Press it again, you get the frequency, 100 hertz, 102 hertz. You could increase it or decrease it. Press it again, and you could change the treatment time and it's like a countdown timer. If you put 25 minutes, it'll turn off automatically after 25 minutes. Press set again, press mode, and just relax. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off again. If you have sciatica, what you could try doing is putting the electrodes 
at the start of the piriformis muscle. That's the muscle that is right on top of the sciatic nerve. And put the other one at around this level. So what it does is it encompasses the length of the piriformis muscle and also the sciatic nerve that's right underneath it. And same thing, you put it on, turn on your unit. Generally speaking, if it's really painful, acute, you wanna use lower frequencies. If it's more chronic and less acute, then you could go up with the higher frequencies. If you know you have a bulging disc, a herniated disc in your lumbar spine, and you know the side of where it's bulging to, you can try to put electrodes on either side of that area. Turn it on, try it for a couple of minutes, and see what it does for you. Optionally, you could take the other set on the channel and put it above and below so that you've got a cross that goes over the painful area. And remember, since you have the four electrodes, you have to use both channels. So turn it on, see what it feels like, evaluate it after a couple of sessions or a couple of minutes, and make necessary adjustments. You could also try using a crossing pattern with the electrodes. Let's say your pain is here, and you know when you have back pain, sometimes you don't know where the offending tissue is coming from. So you just position these electrodes around it. Just imagine these electrical currents connecting like this. So place two of them from one channel in that manner, and then the other two in this manner, okay? So what you have here is like an X. You could play with the modulation and just see which combination works best for you in relieving the pain. Now FDA regulations require that the use of TENS units be under the direction of a licensed healthcare provider. There are some risks associated with it, so make sure you check with your doctor to make sure you are, you are clear. The TENS unit should not be used if you have any kind of electrical implants in your body as the currents may interfere with its function. Also, you should not apply the electrodes anywhere near your heart or your neck as this could potentially interfere with the electrical signals to your heart 